Hey, it's Sebastian from Skycom Solutions, and today we're going to be talking about the common ports on computers. Okay, let's jump into things. I'm very excited to bring this video to you today because we're talking about just the basic ports that are on the majority of computers. And we're using Lenovo computers today because we're a Lenovo partner and we love Lenovo products here at Skycomp. And if you are a client at Skycomp, you are very familiar with Lenovo products because it's all we sell. Um, other laptop brands are great. We just do larger scale businesses. Um, so these laptops make more sense for our clients. Not to say that any other laptops are bad, these ones are just more for us. So let's jump into the first computer that I wanna talk about. And I have a Lenovo desktop computer. So this is just a standard um, Lenovo desktop computer. And this is, you know, this is gonna reflect the same ports that would be on the normal average desktop, com desktop computer nowadays. Um, so I'll start with the back because that's the most complicated and it's going to look scary. It's going to look really technical. Um, but what we really want to kind of drive with this video is that anyone can understand and, and do this and plug in their own ports. If you're a managed service client of Skycom Solutions, you're not going to have to worry about setting up. We deploy computers. We make sure that everything's set up for you. Um, but for this purpose of today's video, I'm going to show you how to kind of do things yourself, which might be helpful to you. So let's jump in here. So I'm going to stand up and just point at the different types of computers, uh, computer ports that we have on the back here. Of course, we have our standard USB ports. These are just USB 2.0 ports. And the way that I can tell that is because they're not blue on the inside. A blue port is a USB 2.0 or 3.0, sorry, port when it's blue. The 2.0 is the one that I'm pointing at right here. And that is just, um, that's just because it has the black or gray kind of insert. Um, if you're looking at, you know, a USB stick here, this is just a standard uh, USB 3.0 USB stick um, by SanDisk. Um, this has a USB 3.0 on the inside of it. Um, so this can plug into this port, no problem. Look at that first try, easy. Um, but it's not going to do have this, the same transfer speed as a 3.0 would. So that's USBs there. And I'll show you the front USBs, which does have a USB-C. The next port I want to show you is the Ethernet cable. Um, so this is your internet port. This is how you get access to your company's network. Um, if you have a laptop with Wi-Fi, you don't need this port, obviously. We'll go over that in a moment. Most, a majority of laptops um, come with uh, an ethernet port on them, but if your laptop doesn't, there's options for you as well. Um, so yeah, this is just your internet port, your network port, your cat six cable or ethernet cable or ethernet jack, whatever you want to call it, gets plugged into this. There's so many different names for the same thing. I just have a really short cable here just to give you an example of what that looks like plugging in and you can simply grab it and pull it out. There's a little tab on the end. I just wanna make you hear that nice click. That wasn't as nice of a click as I wanted it to be. Let's try it again. Yeah, a little click. There, it's in. Perfect. The next port I wanna show you is the HDMI port. Um, and a bunch of different computers have a bunch of different types of ports nowadays. Um, for display, um, but HDMI is the most common one. So that's what an HDMI cable kind of looks like um, from the front there. And this is a male HDMI, and then this is a female port. So we can just put this in. And again, you'll hear a nice little click, and it's in there. You don't want to push HDMIs too hard or in and force them in um, because they are, they do have tiny little pins in there and you don't want to mess up those pins. So just being careful with any, actually any cable you plug in, not to force it. Um, if it's not going correctly, you're really going to want to be gentle and make sure that the, the port grabs the cable properly. 
So there's an HDMI. Since we're in the video production studio, we don't have too many display ports because we're going HDMI to SDI and different conversions like that. But I can point to the display port and it's kind of like, it looks exactly like an HDMI. So people get it really confused, um, but it does have a different kind of shape. So you can see the difference between the display port and the HDMI. So you can see the HDMI is kind of like a hexagon shape. And this is more of a rectangle with a notch kind of cut out at the top there. And it usually comes with two display ports or more. Um, and you can plug in multiple monitors to this. So we could have actually an HDMI monitor and two display port monitors. So we could run three monitors out the back of this easily. Um, and this is a more powerful computer with a lot of RAM and, um, and a, a separate video card. So you can see if I lift this, actually you can just see the top of the video card there. If I just lift this up, this is a NVIDIA uh, GeForce uh, graphics card in here. So with that, you can add even more displays, um, but this computer is gonna have no problem running multiple displays. Um, so that's the back of the computer. There's also this port at the right at the top here. Um, this is a serial port. This is kind of used, this is one of the older ports. They just keep them on the computers, um, be, even though they're really obsolete now, um, just in case it's the only way that they can access something. Um, but yeah, that's a serial port. You do not have to worry too much about this. We don't even worry about this that often. And then we have a speaker output. So normally on the back of a computer, you actually see probably around here somewhere, a whole bunch of different audio jacks. There's a microphone, speaker, headphone, um, all different ins and outs. Um, this is a less complicated system and I'll show you the front of it, which has a couple more options, but I'll explain why. Um, but yeah, this is just a speaker out output. So this does work with headphones as well. You can just take your standard kind of headphone, um, eighth inch or aux cable and plug that in there. Just like you would your, your headphones in your phone or your car stereo. Let's flip this around now. There we go. Perfect. So we have a power button, pretty basic. You know what that does. And then we have an actually an SD card port and I actually have an SD card over here. We just have a 64 gigabyte SD card there. We can just pop that in. And sometimes it's a little bit finicky. You have to flip it back and forth. Again, I'm not forcing it there. So that's the SD card port. So you can actually get um, your files off of the SD card and eject it when you're done. Just pull that out nice, nicely like that. And then we have um, a microphone port. So if you look really, really closely, it has a little microphone icon on that, as well as a headphone and microphone um, icon. So this one below. So this means if you had a TRRS connection that has three little lines so that, I don't know if you've used iPhone specific headphones before that work as a little microphone as well as you can, you can hear, uh, you can listen from them. So that's what this port does. It basically mimics like a phone jack port. Um, and then we have a USB-C. So we'll go more into detail on what a USB-C does, but it's basically a, fancier, a faster and fancier tra transfer speed. Um, and it's just, it's really easy to use. And then again, we have some more uh, USB 2.0 ports on the front. But those are the common ports um, that you will see on a computer. So I'll just move this computer out of the way for a second. I'm just gonna set this down over here. And then we were talking about monitors and display ports and all these different things. So I have a monitor here and I'm just gonna flip it kind of this way so you can see underneath it. I actually have um, on this monitor, this is actually an older monitor. More monitors will have display ports on them. They won't have just HDMI and VGA like this one does. So this is HDMI and VGA. Um, normally you're gonna wanna just use HDMI and you also can convert HDMI to DisplayPort, um, no problem. So if you have an HDMI but only have display ports on your computer, you can convert that and still use the monitor and it works just as well. 
And then um, you also can convert from VGA to HDMI or DisplayPort, but I don't recommend doing that. I recommend just upgrading to an HDMI. It's where the world's going. It's where the world has gone. You might be a little behind if you're still using VGA. And yeah, we have a headphone jack and then of course power for the monitor. Um, so that's the common ports on a monitor. And of course you have on the front, you're used to seeing um, the power button, the power button and menu controls to change the color, brightness and contrast, etc. We'll put that aside. And now we're on to the best part. That would be the laptop. So similarly to a desktop computer, you know, it's just more compact. Um, we have on this side here, I'm gonna bring this into view there. We have an HDMI, we have a headphone jack and microphone jack. So similar to the one that I showed you on the desktop, this um, can read headphones that have a microphone on it as well as just headphones. So it switches internally and understands which type you're using depending on what you plug in. Um, the HDMI port, two USB-C or USB 2.0, and then this is a USB 3.0 and USB-C port. And this is just, a, again, a faster data transfer. Um, and it also works as the power cable for this. So this is technically called like a Thunderbolt where it does a whole bunch of different things for your computer. The one is, again, powering your computer, transferring power from the wall to your battery. And it also transfers data at an extremely faster speed than the USB 2.0. And we flip it over to the other side. Let's just hold this in the right part of the frame. And we have a USB, another USB 2.0. We have an ethernet jack. Now this one's interesting. This one actually has um, a little clip here. If you see, so it's not actually a full size internet, ethernet port until you take the cable and you actually kind of have to, there we go, that's better. So you kind of have to push down to open up the ethernet jack and then wiggle it in and then it clicks in. So it basically allows you to have a thinner laptop and then taking it out again is a little bit more tricky. You kind of have to wiggle it out, I find, and then it comes out nicely. So that's the ethernet, the USB um, 2.0. And then here is basically something that just can lock your laptop to um, something. So you can, you can put a, a Kensington lock in there and basically it just allows your computer to uh, stay secure to something like a desk or a table. Um, so lots of people think that's another USB-C port. It's not, so don't use it as a USB-C port. <laughs> so we went over a basic overview of the ports on a computer. If you want more information, of course, you can head over to skycomp.ca slash learn uh, to find out more information about ports on a computer. I list a lot more different types of ports that maybe you didn't see here in this video. This video covered a majority of the newer types of ports that you'll start seeing on computers as we get into 2022. Um, so computers upgrade, um, you know, two to three years, they're always coming out with new, new technology, new things uh, that make data transfers faster, ethernet faster. Everything is always upgrading and changing in the technology world. And here at Skycomp, we like to stay on top of that. And we'd like to help you stay on top of that. So thanks for watching. And if you'd like to watch any other types of videos about Microsoft Teams, for example, or Office 365, you can click over here. If you wanna watch other videos that Skycom produces, you can click over here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.